the uptown address offered little refuge. She was hounded, assaulted, her privacy invaded. Finally, after years of abuse, a judge put a stop to it. Ron Galella couldn't come within 150 feet of 1040 Fifth Avenue, or its most famous resident, Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis. Designed in 1930 by Rosario Candela, who built some of New York's most prestigious luxury buildings, 1040 Fifth Avenue was made for the spotlight. It towers 17 stories above Central Park, yet has only 27 apartments. Its asymmetrical roof line, with its columns and massive picture windows, is one of the most distinct on Fifth Avenue. But it is as Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis' home for which 1040 Fifth Avenue is most famous. Jackie Kennedy moved here just one year after her husband, President John F. Kennedy, was assassinated. She assumed that New Yorkers, especially those on the Upper East Side, would let her live in peace. Most did, except this man, Ron Galella. Galella was obsessed with Jackie, taking thousands upon thousands of pictures of her and her children. He hid in bushes, bribed doormen, even dated her maid, who provided him with information on Jackie's comings and goings. Galella captured his most famous image, what he called his Mona Lisa, by hiding in a taxi on Fifth Avenue. He paid the cabbie two bucks to honk when Jackie O walked by. Then, at just the right moment, he snapped one of the most iconic images of the former First Lady. Why did I have an obsession with Jackie? Galella wondered years later. I've analyzed it. I had no girlfriend. She was my girlfriend, in a way. It's doubtful that Ms. Onassis would have seen it the same way. After years of being pursued by Galella's lens, she had enough. One afternoon, Jackie ordered the Secret Service to confiscate Galella's film when he snapped a picture of her and John Jr. riding in Central Park. When the photographer refused to turn over his camera, he was taken to the nearest police precinct and arrested for harassment. Galella countered with a lawsuit claiming that Jackie O was denying him his livelihood. It was a bold move that backfired. The judge Galella appeared before had been appointed by JFK and the paparazzo was slapped with a restraining order. He could not come within 150 feet of 1040 Fifth Avenue, Ms. Onassis or her children. On appeal, the order was reduced to 25 feet, something Galella had quite a bit of fun with over the years. When Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis died in 1994, the 15th floor apartment, which she'd bought for $250,000, was sold to David Koch, then the world's 33rd richest man, for $9.5 million. For a while there, we sort of felt her spirit in the apartment, he noted. Koch got renovated the apartment at a cost of at least $10 million. But in the end, it wasn't enough. When Mr. Koch and his wife had their third child, they were forced to move. Jackie O's four-bedroom apartment, with its two dressing rooms, staff room, library, living room, dining room, conservatory, wine room, three fireplaces, five and a half bathrooms, and two terraces was simply too small. There's just no way we could fit another child in that apartment, Mr. Koch said at the time. It just goes to show that no matter how rich you are, in New York, there's never enough space.